must know that I want to do camping because I'm on another camping trip again. This time in Lake Garda. It is a beautiful area. It's so nice. Like the Venice place was lovely and I really thought it was lovely, but this place is really nice too. So we're coming back here next weekend as well for the whole weekend. Today was just the day we met our tutors, the other tutors yesterday, which was a huge relief because they're all so nice. I spent the last hour doing some business for the music school, which I feel good about. Like the big things I was dreading are now getting ticked off the list, which is fantastic. And I am hoping that we get some nice food tonight and a nice early night sleep. New host family once again. I am so lucky with the host family because they are so nice. Their English is great and they have an adorable daughter and she's fabulous and we play games and we mess around with Snapchat filters and it's just really nice. So once again, your girl has fallen on her feet and it's been lovely. Already miss my crew that I was with the last two weeks and I'm really sad that I had to leave them and I'm hoping we get to meet up again soon in the future. But you know with these things, it's very hard to meet up uh, when everyone has their own lives. exact same clothes with the exact same hairstyle with the exact same makeup on but I promise you a few days have passed things are being really really good I think I've lost my Venice vlog no god no god please no things are good yeah I'm with the new camp it's actually not, I'm not going to say nicer than the last group I was with because obviously that last group were fantastic but it's actually really nice to just come into a place where I have no knowledge of anyone beforehand and no preconceived ideas and no like formed alliances beforehand. It's just really nice to be new to a situation. The host family are amazing. I love the house. I mean, like there's a heat wave going on right now and they bought me a fan just for my room. I really have worked up a tan and um, as you can maybe see from my wrist and my hand. First day went really well, which I wasn't expecting at all. So I feel a lot more confident about myself now. And I feel like, uh, yeah, you actually are an okay teacher. It's not, how do I put it? You're, you're not, you don't need to have an existential crisis. You're doing okay. So yeah, who knows what tomorrow will bring. Came to pass them by. Here's to the broken man. Stood in ward when he heard you can. Cause it shows me that faith is more than sight. Good morning from Lake Garda. So last night we had a beautiful dinner with our all our host families, the director, the whole team. We all met in one of the host families' massive mansion, just throwing that out there. And we had the best time. And straight after we went camping. So I am currently in the campsite and my host mother has gone to work. My host father and my host sister are down having breakfast. I got up early this morning and went for a walk around Garda and it was beautiful. It was just so perfect. Half seven, I left for the walk and I wasn't back till half nine. I gave my friend Joe a call who is going back home. He was camping with me in Venice as we both had the same host mother. Like he had the same host mother the first week. I had the host mother the second week. I was mid recording when my host dad came, so I had to stop. But yeah, got some jobs done. Got a job I was dreading. <laughs> when I go back home, I'm back into camps for the music school. So I had to get a few of those plans done. So I'm glad I got it done. And I'm glad that I got everything sorted. So people are looking at me, but actually, you know what? Who cares? No one fucking knows who I am, so. Uh, gonna go for another walk now around Garda the other way around but I only brought flip-flops this weekend and my feet are killing me to any of my Irish friends who want to come to Italy I would highly suggest just stay in a sauna for a while with proper clothes on and just prepare yourself mentally it's 10 o'clock and it's like 28 degrees sorry 30 degrees now probably and next week's gonna be 36 and 37. So if anyone sees a pool of like green on the floor, you know it's me in my Irish body. I'm melting, melting! It's very hard to feel attractive in this heat when you're not used to it. And especially when you're constantly wearing, I made a mistake when I got my uniform, I definitely picked 
I got pics of extra large thinking that it was going to be great because like if it's large it won't sweat because it won't stick to you. Eh, wrong. Definitely shouldn't have done that because I actually just feel gross and disgusting all the time when I wear some form of nice clothing. Everyone's like, Katie, is that you? And I'm like, mm. hi. But no, this is great. I had a nice walk. My feet are kind of cut off me with the flip flops, but like I really needed this. I really, really needed this quiet time by myself, listening to some music, enjoying the sun and enjoying Garda. Cause I just got to see a property today and it is beautiful. I do still prefer Lake Como, but it's beautiful still. <sighs> It's too hot today. Okay, so I thought the heat wave was happening in Venice two weeks ago, and now it's actually happening here because it is half seven in the morning. and it's 28 degrees outside. 28. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. I am very self conscious with all the sweat and. <laughs> What can you do? It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Last week in Monte Chiari and third last week has started. How have I gotten through all this already? So I've talked to the boss and I think I'm working next week and then she's giving me my last week off, which means I get to travel, which would be great. But I'm not holding out much hope because she said this week I was meant to be off and I didn't get it off. So as the Italians say, bo. So Monte Chiari time is nearly over. And I'm going to Novara, Novara, which is northwest of Milan. And to be quite honest, I'm not really looking forward to it. Um, I know this sort of sounds like a real pick me girl thing, but like there's no lads on this camp. I found a lot of comfort having Joe and Luca here on the last two camps. I've made some really good friends there, but anyway, what can we do? The other thing is that there's only two host families in this next camp. So that means that three of the shooters are going to be living together. Oh, look at my dick here. But um, I'm not really happy about that because, like, if it doesn't go well, I have no escape. So, anyway, I'm currently waiting to see if I'm going to be off on the last week of my time here. And if I am, I'm going to travel, I think. But it's very expensive, so I'm trying to figure out what's my cheapest options. So, let's see. My time in Monte Chiari had come to an end. We visited the beautiful Siamonie with Luca and my host family. We had a great dinner. We also had a team dinner in Wake Paradise, which was beautiful. time I felt more connected to my host family than I had with any of the others. I was really sad to leave and I was already making plans to come and see them again. It's called fashion, look it up. Good morning in Monte Chiari slash Lake Garda. My, Lake, my host family brought me to Lake Garda for my last night and it was such a beautiful two weeks with the family. I really feel like I've really bonded with this family. Uh, just as much if not more than the other two families. I'm overwhelmed with the kindness. We had dinner last night and the gifts they got for me were unexpected and so kind. There was no need. And then this morning we, when we got up we went down for a walk around the area. We went for kind of a hike sort of situation and it was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. planning done before I go. Train leaves at four o'clock so time is running out here. Next and final stop, Navarra. There is no plan but we'll see where the wind takes us.